about a Jewish guy named John Stein. In real life, he writes for a magazine sometimes. But now he's got his own cartoon show on VH1, which they hope will be a hit because they sure need one. And even though the show has got sort of a sitcom feel, there's a band and some celebrities for more appeal. Joel likes to ask him questions that'll make him squirm. Sometimes he gets punched out, but Joel never learns. Hey, Joel, what do you know? You got your own show. Try not to blow it, cause if you're not funny, then you'll soon be gone. And they can fill the time with some more Lenny Kravitz songs, then you'll be back in obscurity where you belong. Hey, Joe. Back to Right Said Fred on Three Minutes with Joe. So, Richard, how jealous are you that your brother Fred gets the band named after him? I mean, you're the one strutting around in the I'm Too Sexy video. Oh, that's because it's I'm Too Sexy, not I'm Too Chunky. Stuff it, wanker! Seriously, you ever consider calling the band Right Said Richard? Or were you already in the cutout bin by the time the thought occurred to you? Maybe wrong, said Richard. Nah. That's it! This is good stuff. It's WWF SmackDown meets Where Are They Now. More like WNBA Slap Fight meets Who the Hell Were They in the First Place. Besides, you have these guys on the show all the time. Not all the time. Hey, the butterscotch lifesavers I lost last week. I don't know about some of these guests, Michelle. The roadie from Chumbawamba, Marilyn Manson's mother. Those baby photos were so cute. The diapers with the butt cheeks cut out. You're slipping. I'm not slipping. Then book some A-listers. I had Gwen Stefani in here last week. Leaf had Gwen Stefani. He poached her right out of the green room. He flipped his hair, did that voice, gave her one of those eucalyptus oil foot rubs. I'm not lowering myself like that just to book a guest. What about that deep tissue massage you gave Blink-182? They were all knotted up, Z. My point is, I don't steal from other shows to get ahead. That's so William Morris mailroom. I just thought you were more competitive, that's all. Leaf's got a Rolling Stone coming in this week. Mick? Keith? Bill Wyman. Bill Wyman? He's been out of the band for how many years? What's the matter? He couldn't book Brian Jones? You have no idea who Brian Jones is slash was, do you? That's your job, Michelle, not mine. Fine. You want a stone? I'll book you a stone. The little guy in the monkeys? Mmm, man fuel. <clears throat> what have you got there, Joel? Man fuel? Oh, this old thing? It's just power powder, baby. This stuff will goose your engine. Bulk up mix. Oh, you're gonna start working out. I've been working out, Kevin. I can tell. Whew, you're big. Why don't you come to my A-list celebrity gym later as my guest? I'll introduce you to Randy Castro, my A-list celebrity trainer. Couple more weeks. And look out, ladies. Nah, I'm doing this for myself. Long-term health benefits. Heart smart. Look out one special lady. Did you not hear me, Kevin? I'm in it for the liver, the lungs, the kidneys, the bones. So Michelle hasn't noticed, huh? She's got an undiagnosed astigmatism, that's my guess. But you wait, she'll pick up on it. Oh yeah, she will take note. Joel will talk about whatever Mr. Watts wants to talk about. Drumming, jazz, 40 years of staring at Mick Jagger's ass. No, no, Joel is not a sock puppet. He's a real life human being of sorts. Okay, I'll be waiting for your call. I don't believe this. Who does Charlie Watts think he is? He's a drummer, for God's sake. It's not like he's a real musician. Maybe you just lost your mojo. Are you talking dirty to me, Kevin? No! I haven't lost anything. There was this week back in 98 when I couldn't get past level 4 on Super Mario Kart. Then one day, I found a secret banana. Next thing you know, I was jumping those bomb-throwing monkeys like they were nothing. Kevin, I hope you're getting all this stuff on tape for your memoirs. Mojo is not my problem. Don't worry, you'll get it back. You just have to find your secret banana. Am I talking dirty to you? Banana might... Never mind. What I have to find is a stone crazy enough to do our show. How about Oliver? Squat! Lunge! Thrust! Squat! Lunge! Thrust! Give me ten more! I think it'd be better if you take them yourself. Do you or do you not want to be huge Joel Stein? Professionally, yes! Physically, I'm starting to think that moderately toned is a more realistic idea, sir! I didn't ask you to call me, sir. I don't know, but I've been told. Right said Fred is getting old. Stein! Sorry. I love Full Metal Jacket. At school, we used to call it Fat Mental Jack Off because of the fat mental guy. Okay, you know what, Joel? Forget the workout for now. Just double your daily portion of man fuel. You want to know what we called Apocalypse Now? It's still funny. Hit the shower, Stein, double time! Sir, yes, sir! Left said Fred, right said Fred. Left said Fred, right said Fred. Left, right. I 
I've hit max buffness for today. Up for a little steam? Sure, Joel. I guess Bugs and Daffy will find a way to work out their differences. Hey, Big Leaf. You here for your glute maintenance routine? Bro, what are you doing with three minutes with Joel Stein? Three minutes with Joel Stein isn't big enough to train with you. Who are you anyway? Are you your resume? Like that Vietnam dude said, then died, I think? It's like this, Randy bro. When publicity photo ops as a leafer go play darts with the common man, do I scream recount on the line? Though it was so totally on the line. Love the common man, that's who we do it for. You and your homes and crooked dart shops. But a gym's not common. And are you a celebrity trainer or aren't you? Joel might not be big now, but he's gonna be. Joel's gonna be big? Huge. There's a plan. You know, these workouts are really changing my life. I feel stronger, more confident, more like a man. You're not hitting on me, right, Joel? Kevin? Must you turn two sweaty, naked guys talking manhood in a hot, wet room into something suggestive? Sorry. You might not believe this, but when I was a kid, I was kind of a wimp. You? Whenever I was about to get in a fight at school, I'd just fall on my back on the ground and kick like hell. You were that kid? But since meeting Randy, I feel like a man. I've got these urges, Kevin, to watch football, to pump my own gas, to grill. Wow. Bratwurst. Huh. I think my dad would enjoy meeting you. Not in here, though. I mean, look at me. Feel the guns. Do I have to? Be a man. Give them a squeeze. Yup. And my pecs, they're getting huge. Go on, take a poke. Oh. What? I don't know. It kind of feels like I'm in seventh grade again. Only not in a steam room, in the back of the school bus. And you're not you, you're Tiffany Lemongello. Stop babbling, Kevin. I'm trying to bask in my bulk. That's what I mean, Joel. It's not bulk, it's boob. So you're saying that Mick Taylor, who is a stone for like five minutes, will talk to Joel about anything but the stones. Ooh, hey, America, fasten your seatbelts for a riveting discussion of finger picking. He is not a sock puppet. A sock puppet wouldn't talk to Mick Taylor. Let's see, who else played with the stones? So many of them died young. Why does everything happen to me? I'm telling you, people know. No one knows. Look at that sandwich card guy. He's checking me out. He's checking you out because you're wearing three sweatshirts and sweating like a pig. He's looking at my boobs. Everybody's been doing it all day. When none of the guys will look you in the eyes, that's when you realize you're just as grown in size. When all your friends suggest oh, a t-shirt contest, it isn't hard to guess. They just want to see your breasts. When you become the dude whose memories grow true, men can be so rude because they're all picturing you nude. They'll never let you be once you're a double D. Oh, what's a busty lad supposed to do? What's a busty lad supposed to do? Joel, would you relax? Stop scratching them. They itch! I'm sure you get used to that. If you're a woman, which you're not remotely, you can barely see them. Not for long. They're getting bigger. 9 a.m., 9.30, 10, 10.15, 10.45. They're growing. By tomorrow, I'm gonna look like Anna Nicole Smith. Why is this happening to me? Too many antibiotics in your steaks? I don't eat steaks. Not enough red meat? I'm turning into a girl, Kevin. Gotta eat more man fuel. Man fuel will keep me manly. Water. May cause constipation, dizziness, drowsiness, blurred vision, nausea, insomnia, stomach pain. Okay, Kevin, time to take another picture. I'm gonna let you do the honors, but don't ogle. Never ogle. Swollen glands, sore throat, unusual bleeding, irritated gums, or enhanced pectoriosity. Did you hear that, Joel? Huh. My gums have been giving me fits lately. Enhanced pectoriosity. I'm just guessing, but I bet it means guy boobs. Pectoriosity, from the Latin pectoris for chest. Enhanced from the Greek for big and jugly like a woman's. Kevin, you're right! This stuff is your problem. But it's man fuel. Not exactly. Be gone with you, devil powder. By tomorrow, every alligator in the New York sewers will be strutting around saying, get a load of these mamas. Well, well, my bro, who pretends he's Mr. Small while masterfully going about his secret plan to become Mr. B.I.G. What did you say? Mr. Who? Secrets out, bro. Three minutes with Joel Stein getting bigger every day. You can tell? I knew everyone could tell. Yeah, your little plan. It's like leaked, like D-Day. What plan? No plan? Can the nitwit act three minutes with Joel Stein? Are we so different, bro? No. We're like two sides of the same 25-cent quarter, with me being the handsome George Washington face and profile side, and you being the flip side with a picture of a tree saying Connecticut. 
State of trees. We both want to win and be the biggest and the butteriest. Be my guest. I want to get smaller. <laughs> sure you do, yo. And I want to have a show called Three Minutes with a Leaf, like not. So just watch your back, dude. They can grow there too? He's not a Rolling Stone, technically, but he played congas on the Voodoo Lounge Tour and he's willing to come in. I knew you'd get your mojo back. I never lost my damn mojo, damn it. Okay, like P.A. Cheryl, you gotta get some of that Viagra Bill Wyman asked for for the green room. He said something about an intravenous setup, and if we can't do that, he wants you to rent Pulp Fiction and study up, babe, on how to give someone an injection directly to the heart. Also, he asked for some stuffed animals, puppies and kittens, and no kitties with the big eyes that follow him around the room. Same note from me. Bill Wyman? Bill Wyman is in the building? Yeah, but Michelle, he's booked on Leaf's show. Hey, Leaf took our Gwen Stefani. I'm taking his Bill Wyman. Didn't you say you were above that? And I think the fact that now I'm not is an indictment of our whole industry. Anyway, how are you gonna do it? Kevin, do you have any doubt that I can get Bill Wyman's attention? Um, 